Some fairies would be nice. Uh, there are... Perfect timing, dude. Void Knight altogether. There's another Blood Moon. Ah, oh, can't see ya. Don't look down, don't look down. Whatever you do, don't look down. Or behind you. Does spotting a talus on the ground count as seeing it? Yes. But, since we have to do all Koroks before we do any other objectives, we can't kill the talus even if we do see it. Because the talus is a 100% objective. Oh, am I gonna make this? If I go, if I make it there, I'll be good. Oh, are you serious, dude? It's not steep enough. Maybe if I do it this way, this should work. I don't want to go around because I don't want to deal with those guardians. This should work. Well, we made it. Put the other one. of close calls there, but we got him. Got my heart rate going, that's for sure. Grabbing this from here, go back into desert, I guess. But yeah, I would say we're at least 40% done with the run, considering that we only have 370 Korok seeds to get left. Hard deciding where I want to go first. I guess I'm already here, I'll go this way. My destination, by the way, is that tree that you see on top of my paraglider. The fact that we only have 370 left is pretty pog. Then we start picking up speed. Then we have too many things to do and not enough time to do them. And like all the harder Korok seeds were already done yesterday. And then the rest of the hard ones were already done today. Like yeah, Hebra is probably going to be interesting, but not going to be that big a deal. Your mom's a hard one I did yesterday. I Great thing about this area right now is... Since I haven't started the quest, guess what's not here right now? What Koroks use Zora armor? I know, those dumbass NPCs and all the Bokoblins that come with it. Yeah, because the Bokos in this area actually don't populate until you start that quest. Interestingly enough. A lot of people don't know that. The columns only show up after you start the quest. They're not even here yet. I'm gonna grab these fire arrows. Oh, these fire arrows aren't even here yet. <laughs> I'll grab this guy. He probably has some arrows. See if I can avoid the Zolfos. Huh. 
Nice. Oh! Apparently I can't avoid the Lizalfos. Come over here. He's like, I saw you. Oh, seriously? Guys, I don't want to fight you. Let's just go about your day. And everything will be fine. The stasis off on him, man. Yeah, I wish. Magnetic boulders are so weird to stasis launch off of, though. Like, it's possible, it's just, for some reason, the angles that you can and cannot get with a magnetic boulder are just super, like, finicky. Oh, yeah. I wish I could get these. Actually, these are ice arrows. Can I get... These are ice arrows, right? Or are they bomb arrows? I think they're ice arrows. Yes! Okay. After I kill the Bacoblin, I get the Ice Arrows, but... You know what? I actually have an idea. I have a good idea. Maybe a good idea. I'm gonna do a strat I actually haven't done in a long time. Link. I'll do this. <laughs> Got fire arrows. Let's grab those last two Lake Hylia Koroks that we orphaned. And then we'll head over to East Wasteland, grab those last two Korok seeds that we orphaned because of fire arrows. A nose draining? You don't say! Really? I, I never would have guessed. There's really no way of me having known that. You get more respect the longer yours takes. Don't you freaking dare, dude. Don't you dare. Of course. Of course. Well, I guess I'll get this Korok seed while I'm waiting. We're just waiting for it to stop raining, by the way. Stand up. Oh, finally grabbing this dumbass Korok. Did I ever use the strat where you throw the boomerang control with magnesis? Yes, I have done that. Not very useful on speed runs, but I have done that. Now to grab the other two. While we're climbing, funny story about this spot. Do you guys know that this is actually the spot, and this spot is the way it is? Because this is where they found the um, Divine Beast Naboris. Like, this is where they ex excavated out Naboris. Really isn't anywhere good on these rocks, is there? Maybe over here. This might work here, actually. Oh, 
Oh, really? Do I have anything that can... I don't, okay. Um, what's Minecraft mode? If you die, then you have to drop everything in your inventory. Are you kidding me? Oh shit, come on, 900. No! Dude, Minecraft mode would be so bad. Because it's, it's deceivably easy to die. 22 hours from now? Easy, just, just finish before 22 hours from now. I'm just gonna finish 22 hours from now, easy. Get this Guardian. This is like the fourth time I've killed this Guardian. Thought mods were supposed to make life easier for the streamer? You would think. Sometimes my mods are my biggest trolls. What are the handicaps? The list above me. How is it even possible for chat to map controls? Uh, it's a thing in the Switch now. You can literally go into the system settings. Change button mapping. You can change the button mapping to anything you want. Or in this case, anything that chat wants. That's evil, I know. I know. I don't suppose I can make this just by shield surfing, can I? Ooh, I might just be able to. Save me a lot of headache, actually. Slalom, slalom. Nice. Yeah. Naked, I pretty much already had. There's some of them in there that I already basically have. Even though I don't explicitly have it. Like Naked and Elden. Although I don't really have Naked and Elden because... I will be able to do some of Elden clothes. With like the, the Goron clothes, the fireproof clothes, so... It's not strictly Naked and Elden, but... At least for this beginning part it is. Exactly. I'm only naked in Elden for the Korok segment. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do in what order once I'm able to... Because I'm going to have so much open to me as soon as I'm done with all Korok seeds. Like, it's going to be so crazy. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'll be like, okay, what quests do I want to start first? Which quests do I want to do first so I can do stuff? Start all of them. Yeah, but just going around and starting... I guess I'm going to start every quest I... I guess I'm going to go based off of the All Shrines randomizer. Yeah, no buying pictures is is intense. Luckily for me, that's not one that I can do now. It has to be one that you have to do at the beginning. Otherwise, you kind of get like soft locked out of being able to do it. I have three Korok seeds left in this area. Yeah. Dude, stop side hopping. What the fuck, bro? Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna die. I might be dead. No, I'm good. You guys are the worst. How terrible would play with Joy-Cons be? Very. But I can't play with Joy-Cons. So bad at it. Choo choo. Oh, you were my friend. Thank you for the five pack, my friend. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, they don't kick you out of town if you're high up enough uh, elevation. That's why that Korok seed is possible without getting the clothes or starting the quest. Last one in the desert. <laughs> That's satisfying. As fuck. going now I guess finish up the rest of this area oh, well else do I play nothing I just play this game all day every day forever I play breath of the wild in the day breath of the wild in the afternoon breath of the wild at night on weekends in my sleep Nice! Let's go, dude. Let's go. Of course. I remember this. I remember enemies not showing up until you actually started your launch. We tested this. I stood around for like 15 minutes waiting for an enemy to show up and I was standing next to some trees. We waited like three days. I started a launch and they immediately showed up. The whole thing. Fine, never. She's eaten a whole hot dog with me like four times. Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to kill some guardians here. Yeah, I'll definitely announce if I ever do another Damageless 100%. The best way for you to find out when I'm doing Damageless 100% is to join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my uh, YouTube. Subscribe to my only VODs? I don't have an only VODs, nor will I ever. Uh, yes please. I will take two. Let's see. Trees over here. Probably a better idea. How many Korok seeds left? Exclamation point question mark. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. That dude was all up in my grill. Uh, there's a tree here I can use. Don't even have to look at the Korok seed. Thank you. 
They've got all the pen. Oh, thank you. Ignore them. Just ignore them. Just, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna eat our hot dogs. So guys, uh, uh, you're eating. So guys, what are you eating? Sandwich. Yum. <laughs> no, the bad guy. Korok's gonna make me look at him, isn't he? Yep, I knew it. Well, dude, get over with. Ouch. 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 Whew. Where to now? There are two Koroks in Farron that I orphaned. I can go grab real quick, and then I can use that to kind of serpentine my way up through, actually, you know what? No, I have everything that I need in order to head to Elden right now. Or to, rather, to, um, not to Elden, to Hebra. I'm gonna do that. Getting up on trees is such cancer when you don't have speed food. right in front of one, aren't I? Yep, but it's okay, because I didn't see him! That's all that matters! You know what I would really love right now? A cooking pot to cook all this food. Daddy's really free. Am I? Oh. Not allowed to leave your house until 5 a.m. Yeah, and most places have, like, a minimum delivery fee, and when you're alone, it's like, dude, I'm not gonna spend 40 bucks on on pizza for just one person you have to order like five pizzas to meet the requirements ouch cold pizzas poggers yeah but five pizzas worth of cold pizza not as poggers i know right let's just all go party at vet's house can't decide whether to take a small or a long break it's up to you man it's however you feel the way I look at it is, take a small break, and then if you get to the computer, and, or when you get to the to the controller and you're like, you know what, no, I'm not ready yet, then just take a longer break, that's what I do. There's some guys on horseback here, I think. Uh, are those fire arrows? Oh, change of plans. These guys are dead. One five pack, oh well. That's a hack that a lot of you guys maybe didn't know. If you do a shield jump on, uh, if you do a shield jump with your radiant shield, but then at the very last second before you land on the ground, switch over to a different shield you'll still have the slippiness of the Radiant Shield, but it'll use the durability of your other shields. 
very useful if you want to keep your your good shield surfing shield intact. Yeah, you just need to switch right before you land, like literally the the split second before you land. You'll see me do that a couple times now that I my radiant shield is close to breaking. Let's go. Got him. Let's go, dude! Let's go! Come on, dude. Few times I can use a horse. You don't have an oven bet? Rip. Some of the greatest joys in life are brought into your home by an oven. Wow, that sounded like a commercial. 11 square foot home. Bro. Ouch. Specs sponsored by an oven company. Insert random oven company here. I buy a G Fuel oven. It depends on the specs of the oven. Competitive oven guide, right? Because I have very specific needs for. I'm an I'm an ex chef, so I have I have pretty specific needs for my oven. Like for instance, I have to have a gas oven. Or I guess that's not the oven, it's the stove. But like, I have to have the gas stove. I can't do the... The American ones that they have, the, the electric ones. So bad. I showed Mrs. Speck's gas uh, stoves, and she's never gone back. If it was made by Nintendo, you'd get oven drift. True. And the sequel wouldn't come out for like 10 years. And if your oven broke, instead of them just sending you a new oven, you'd have to send the whole oven to them just for them to replace one part and send you back the oven. <laughs> 